So the whole geek world has gone nuts. It's gone crazy. It appears that everyone hates Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. But do they really? I'm, I have a different view and opinion than most people, obviously. I, I think, I think Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania can be graded in many different ways. I believe you could give it, you could give Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania anywhere from a C plus to a B plus. I personally, I was actually discussing this on a Facebook forum. I give it a solid B minus. And, and I could be convinced that it's a B plus, but I give it a solid B minus. Wasn't perfect as no movie is perfect, but it was good. I think, and I said this in my last video, I think Marvel got the point. I think Marvel got the point. We just want a good movie. Don't preach to us. We don't want to be preached to. We just want to see an entertaining film that doesn't deviate too far from the comic books. We will accept some deviation because we understand certain things don't translate to the big screen as well as some other things. Just don't go too far off the deep end deviating from what we see in the comic books. Do that for us and we're good. We're solid. We're on solid ground. We are seeing eye to eye. But what I see across the internet is there's so many people. It wasn't this. It wasn't that prominent people that I follow are very up in arms about this movie. I think we need to manage our expectations. I think some movies within the Marvel Cinematic Universe has set the bar so high that we expect every movie to meet that expectation. And that just won't happen. I think in similar fashion, when you look at basketball in the late 80s and early 90s, Jordan set the bar so high just with his his presence all around, his attitude, his his ability to command a game and just almost win at will. This this certain this certain thing he had, the, the, what do they call it? The it factor. Michael Jordan had it, whatever it is. And if other people don't have those same exact qualities immediately, we're just like, ah, these, you know, it just sucks now. No, it doesn't suck now. People are different. We, we've nostalgically set the bar so high. I was talking to uh, someone today. I think, I think it was my youngest son. We were talking about this. And I remember when people had negative things to say about Captain America. I think it was Civil War. I think that was the movie that people had some negative things to say about it. But now when you look back at that movie, people celebrate it. And if if you were to if you were to compare Ant-Man and a Wasp Quantumania to a movie like that, people would scoff. <laughs> How dare you? You can't compare these movies. Now, I'm 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 being a little I'm being a little tongue in cheek on purpose. I'm not literally trying to compare Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania to Civil War. They're two different movies. And I think herein lies the problem. We expect Marvel to be able to duplicate exactly what they did before. And, and to some degree, that will never happen because what they did before was something we had never seen the way Marvel was approaching these movies, every comic book movie building upon the next, them building upon a storyline that most of us geeks knew and understood. Geeks were explaining things to normies. Normies, when I say normies, I mean people who didn't really grow up on comic books. They were getting excited because they were getting some of the backstory from some of us geeks that had some more detail and it just made this whole thing something new that we never experienced. But just like anything, once you've had that experience, 
You can't duplicate that thing being new again. And I think that is the, the metric by which Ant-Man and the Wasp quantum mania is being judged. Personally, I think unfairly. And for this, for this same reason, I believe we're not recognizing that in Ant-Man and the Wasp quantum mania, Marvel has really corrected some things. Wasn't super preachy, as I said before. Focused more on the story. It focused more on building up Kang. Building you up to something that is coming. I, I, The unfortunate thing about everything I see going on with this new Ant-Man movie and how it's being judged is it's being judged so unfairly that people that might have gone to see this movie objectively looking at the movie for what it is are now going in with uh, a negative hue on their view. So they can't escape this negative hue they have on their view because they've heard so many negative reviews. It's terrible. It's trash. I, I think these reviews, look, maybe people who say this, maybe they honestly believe that I can't say I know the motives of some people, but I, I, I legitimately and honestly do not believe this movie is trash. And I would tell you, go see it for yourself. Make your own judgment. I think you might be pleasantly surprised.